The triple E ships will be uh, a new addition to our fleet. Uh, the most, the biggest ships that we're going to have, and the most competitive ships that we have. I think the big feature with these ships is that uh, they are they are going to be extremely fuel efficient. Uh, Twenty percent more fuel efficient per container than the biggest we have in our fleet today, and fifty percent. Uh, more fuel efficient than the average for the trade that they will be deployed in Asia Europe. The container industry is an uh, extremely competitive industry and, and I believe that we will continue to have a competitive industry with uh, long periods with uh, excess capacity. Maersline's response to that is to uh, be the cost leader uh, in the industry. We are taking cost out, we have taken out a lot of cost in the last uh, year and a half and we will continue down that path with uh, deployment of the Triple E vessels, with uh, the introduction of the P3 network and, and, and so on, so that we can continue to be cost competitive and deliver uh, low freights to our customers. Well, I think the, uh, the industry will continue to be competitive. Uh, there's a lot of incentives for investing in bigger ships because you do get lo lower costs, and therefore we will continue to see, uh, see uh, new ship orders. So I don't necessarily see a situation where there will be a lot less uh, capacity deployed. Well, we have gone through five years of crisis with very little or no growth uh, in demand in the east-west trades. We are having a little bit more uh, optimistic view now and, and, and do see uh, uh, more growth in the future, probably in the 4 to 5 percent range, but, but clearly not getting back to uh, to growth levels that we saw before the crisis, which were more in the 8 to 10 percent range. So also here we have to live, learn to live in a, in a, in a slower growth environment.